Good morning and welcome to day 79. As you might be able to hear, it's a rainy morning. We woke up to the rain this morning and it's going to rain all day. Uh, but we will be just wet instead of cold and wet. So that might be a plus. Um, we're at Gravel Springs Hut. We're not in the hut, of course. We tend not to do that, but we're at a tent site here. Mile 958.7. And yay, we get to start our day with a climb. But then after that, it eases off a little bit. Uh, we will hit, we will leave the Shenandoah National Park sometime today. And hopefully we wind up right around uh, Front Royal, Virginia. That would be 13 miles and maybe we'll push a little further. But given that it's going up after that, maybe not. So we'll keep Probably you posted. Not. Probably not. Too heavy. All right, talk to you later. There you go, Pete. Good morning. Good morning. Not going to tell him the same thing again. I'm going to yeah. tell you something different. Okay. So we're still in the tent. It's still are, raining. And we're doing this morning video because we don't want to do it in the rain. There you go. <laughs> we're getting smarter. We are. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to. It's supposed to rain all day long. Uh, the temperature should be in the 50s. Um, so hopefully um, we won't be miserable and wet. We'll just be wet. Uh, we'll probably be setting up wet tonight because it really is supposed to rain all day. But with a little luck because this stuff is really, really wet when it's wet. And uh, with a little luck, we'll get a crack of sunshine or at least stop raining and windy enough to dry some stuff out. We'll see how it goes. But as usual with bad weather, not, maybe not too many videos today. We'll see how the day goes. Um, but anything you want to add? Yeah, I was outside peeing today and <laughs> a couple feet away from the Gotta tent. Gotta have the bathroom story. Yeah, we do. And this mouse shoots out from the rocks and heads over to the tent on my side of the tent. I was peeing on Pete's side of the tent. So, you know, you get back in the tent and we had it all unzipped, all the screens. I thought for sure that little guy would be in here, but... I didn't see him anywhere. He's probably so he, in my backpack. He's being quiet. So you, anybody that remembers Larry Lujak and animal stories, I think we're going to have bathroom stories with Lisa. Did he have bathroom stories? No, he had animal stories. Okay. <laughs> we'll well, I didn't expect the mouse to come running out. You know, it's broad daylight. <laughs> we're doing bathroom stories. Just toilet okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, and the one who commented, I did flush that toilet in that bathroom that day. It was nice. <laughs> see you later. Okay, so the mouse just climbed over my hand, out of the backpack, in the tent, and I'm screaming, and Pete's telling me, stop that, stop that. Well, you know what? I'm not stopping that. And I think the mouse just went out Pete's door, and I'm afraid to go in my backpack again, because there might be another one in there. May have had a family last night. You never know. So I'm just going to go in the pack slowly. Okay, so this is one brave mouse. He has come back like four times. I'm on lockdown with the screen zipped up. He climbed up the screen. I'm ready for him. I'm going to film him next time. And he's not a small mouse. He's a fat one. I told Pete when we take the tent down, he's got that end. They're not going on Pete's side. Although my snack pack is right here. Duh. It was not in the tent with us, though. It was in the bear bag. But I don't think that's what it, what's attracting him. No, the food wouldn't do it. I don't think that is. I think he just wants in. He knows it's humans. Mm -hmm. There's food here. And there's a big rock right outside there, so he's out of the rain. It's really coming down now. I'm looking for him. There's the little shit staring at me. Climbing up the pole. Did you see that? Okay, that one was bigger than, the, uh, smaller than the one that was in the tent. I think the whole family now is going to start come converging on us. He's back. He's bouncing on the screen now. See if he can get in. There he goes. Get, get out of there! <laughs> well, it's 20 to 9. And we're still inside the tent waiting for it to stop raining. And as Not you so can much tell, stop raining, stop storming. Storming. I need to clean that lens on that camera. Look at that. That's pretty bad. But we change the plans. We're going to try to hike 10 to 13 miles, and we're going to go into Front Royal tonight. 
Baymont Hotel has a washer and dryer, so we'll get everything dried out because I think it's going to be nice after, you know, 10 o'clock. And this stuff is thoroughly soaked, so we'll see what happens. It's 10 after 9, packed up, and we're finally back on the trail. This is how foggy it is out here. You never know what's going to be up ahead. Killer mice. <laughs> hey, that thing it was pretty aggressive. Okay, so we're coming out of the woods, and we can't figure out where the trailhead is. So we'll cross the street and see. see Once you see it in the grass, it's usually a little easier. Oh, there it is. No camping above 3,200 feet on Mount Marshall. We're on top of Marshall Mountain. Is was it Mountain Pete? Not on top. It's Mount Marshall. Mount Marshall. And there's a long way to go to the top yet, but Oh. Pete says we're not on top yet. Bummer. Okay. See ya. Still raining. But the trail is really pretty. Everything's just covered in green. Looks like it's growing what a foot a day, Pete, with the rain? Seems like it. Okay, we're leaving. We're at the southern terminus of the Shenandoah National Park, at least from the trail aspect. Yeah. And uh, so officially we're done with the Shenandoahs, which is a shame because it has yeah. just been the most wonderful trail experience. Look at that. How nice is that? We're we have had on the entire trip, I would think, taken yeah. all together the last six or eight days, probably eight days worth of just fantastic trail. So. I could agree. So okay. anyway, we'll catch up with you. So we're 1,216 miles from Maine, 965 from Georgia. We're going to try to get a ride to uh, our hotel. Not looking good so far. Good evening. Good evening. Hey. Yes, sir. Yeah. We're in the not so beautiful but very accommodating. Back up more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Baymont Hotel. And uh on our second room the first one had a the roof was leaking into it. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny. After we spread our shit everywhere. <laughs> yeah, right. We got all We weren't even in here ten minutes and everything's all over the place and Pete goes to the bathroom and water's dripping from the Pouring. Place up above. Not dripping from the roof. Yeah. No, there's Front. a third. Is, is there a third floor? It said third floor in uh, certain areas. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's not the dripping roof. from somewhere. Yeah. Um, so anyway, they they got us another room, of course. And, um, Had to pack up. So we're we're all set. Got everything clean and dry, and still scattered about the room. Yeah. But the the fun part, the interesting story for the evening is right after <laughs> we said we're having a hard time getting a shuttle ride, which we were. The trolley pulls up. So Into free, the parking lot where front we're at. Yeah, Front Royal runs a free trolley that stops at the trailhead. You know, I just took my backpack off. I mean, and this trolley pulls up right, I yeah, mean, like just, two feet from me. Yeah. And uh, so we hop on a trolley. It takes well, us. Well, wait. So we, we go to get on the trolley. She looks at us. We are covered in mud. I mean, first, we, we were filthy. And to take that tent down and then to hike 13 miles in mud, we look like shit. And she says to Pete, could you please wipe your shoes before you come on the bus? And then when we get on, she's like, sit in that seat in back of mine. <laughs> yeah. So Pete sits in there with his backpack on. So I got like this much space to sit in there. My backpack's on the floor. And then Pete, tell him about the driver. Oh, <laughs> is it my turn? Can I talk now? <laughs> yeah, so the bus is driven by Mario Andretti's granddaughter. Holy crap, man. I mean, I'm to a pole. Honest to God, <laughs> this woman is driving. I mean, she, she, she's 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 driving, right? and, and it's a all over. it's one of those trolley buses. You're all familiar with those things, right? So it's not exactly the most stable thing on the planet. No, and she's cruising, and fast. she is whipping around. And Radios she's, blasting. She got the country music turned the way up, <laughs> and, and she's like, at one point, she's tailgating this guy, and she's going, "Come on, move, move." move. <laughs> 
don't work. That's pretty damn funny. So, but it all worked out because the hotel is like a five minute walk from the visitor center, which is where they stop downtown. Yeah. But she did uh, that to several cars, and we were uh, in the because she has to go on her route, you yeah, know. And I didn't. I said to Pete, "Is she talking to someone?" We thought maybe she's on the phone or something. I mean, she's talking to every single car that's in her way. Come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so all is well. Yeah, but and, this uh, is ridiculous. You know, you spend hours after. You know, we got to dry the whole tent out. The oh. pads are even wet. Then we had to do our laundry. Oh. Our ring gear is still drying. It's like a three-hour process. I tell Pete, I don't want to camp in the App rain anymore. Welcome to the Appalachian Trail. Yeah, we're only going to hike on Sunday days. <laughs> we'll see you in two years. <laughs> if you're Maybe. Not gonna, if you're not going to hike in the rain, you're never going to finish the Appalachian Trail. I got news for you. But... <laughs> It, it it's just, you know it's still been pretty cold. I mean, if we were guaranteed a sunny evening or the next day being sunny or something. Uh, anyway, it, it works out, right? We got we got ourselves a ride in the, to a town. We got everything dried out, so we'll start yeah. fresh tomorrow. That's all. It's all fine and good. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Anything else you want to add? I'm trying to think. What else happened today? Not too much. We hiked in the rain. Them damn mice, man. That's <laughs> like. Kamikaze mice, you know. I was on the phone with the hotel, and all of a sudden I'm watching the mouse come down the screen. So I'm saying to Pete, what the heck, aren't you watching it? Quit pointing at that. You know, I don't know how the thing got on top of the screen to come down. I don't know. It climbed up. Those mice were bad. Oh, they were terrible. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, that's okay. it. I'm done. She's done. <laughs> we'll talk we to you We need more. more snakes we'll to eat to the more. mice. Oh, and by the way, Okay. Okay. Because we keep forgetting to say this, and we are probably caught up. But on occasion, we just want to remind you, on occasion, we can't get enough Wi-Fi to upload videos fast enough. So there's a break in the posting, right? Yeah. And Sorry about just that. Just rest assured, it's not that we've stopped recording or anything like that. It's just that we can't get things uploaded. So every once in a while, it's going to happen. There's going to be a day or two break. Um, with this stop, we think we'll, we're able to get caught up. So... Uh, but don't fret if you don't see a post uh, every now and again because it's just us not being able to upload yet. Yes. Okay. Talk to you in the morning. Good, Good night. night.